Uh, we have also one tool, uh, the Code of Conduct on Images and Messages, that are spread by the NGOs. Um, we we uh, we have a new version of the of of this code of conduct since 2008 and actually most actually this code of conduct from the Concord the European uh, NGO Confederation uh, developed very basic principles points like uh, messages should um, show the, the dignity of the persons that you that you show in in your brochure or campaign or whatever and uh, you should ask them actually you, or inform them what are you going to do with this as uh, images and if they agree that you can use their image for for your your campaign or, or your, your your document and also to be aware when you use ch children in uh, children's portraits because there is children rights and you should um, uh, you should follow this this right and uh, this kind of principles but the, the, the main issue was that uh, we don't we don't have to focus only on coherent messages and images for fundraising but also on daily work and we can use this code to discuss about the ethic of the organization because that's the key point what are your values and is it linked with your action that was really the key issue and it's now uh, a lot of uh, platforms, Italian platforms uh, are, are using it, are giving trainings on the code of conduct as a tool to debate also with the media. How are you interfering into that? Do you know about this code? Maybe we can talk and, and have a commitment on this code of conduct What is the and response that the media is giving to your invitation? Are they responding positively to this yes. code of conduct? In, in, in some countries, they are really positively responding to it and saying, oh, look, we also have a code of conduct exactly. for photographers, for ca uh, cameramen, uh, and so on. So we can debate and say, look, yeah, great. So now we really, I can tell you what I'm expecting from you, and you can tell me if this is fine for you. Uh, there is a discussion, we, we can exchange on that. And I really believe that's how we should work together because NGOs need the media, but media me needs the NGOs also because they are showing these alternatives. They are showing they are, they are close to people. So.